What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we'll talk about how to pass a volleyball focusing on our platform, or also called bumping the ball. And this video was suggested by Andrew Awesome, so thank you so much for this video suggestion. The first thing we'll talk about is our stance and our ready position. I call this medium posture because your body position, this is a high body position, this is a low body position, and this is a medium body position. It's an easy way to communicate not to stand straight up or to get too low. The first step is to start with your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Then you want to stagger them. You want to have one foot slightly in front of the other. This allows me to move forward and backwards. If my feet are on the same level, it's hard for me to move forward and backwards. I have great lateral stability. When I try to move forward, I'm going to end up falling forward instead of taking a step because my body doesn't know which one to take a step with. So very important to always have your feet staggered when you're passing. Once I have my feet set up, I'm going to bend my knees so I'm in a ready position and I'm going to lean forward so my shoulders are in front of my knees. And this allows me to always be moving forward when I'm passing, which is most of our passing positions. If I don't lean forward with my shoulders and I have my shoulders on top of my body, I'm going to end up passing the balls upward instead of forward toward the net and it's going to cause me to be flat footed and on my heels. Place your arms under your shoulders with your elbows bent in a relaxed position. It's very important to stay relaxed so you can form your platform as quickly as possible. If you're too stiff or too rigid, you're not going to be able to move quickly or fluidly. Here's what it looks like from the profile. Now we'll talk about our platform. There are three things that must happen for your platform to be very solid. The first part is that your fingers need to be locked together so your platform does not break apart. Second, thumbs need to be parallel. Third, elbows locked out and you see how this creates a solid platform. I recommend placing one hand over the other with your fingers crossed and then touching your thumbs together and then turning your elbows inside out so your platform is as flat as possible. If my thumbs are not parallel, it will create an uneven surface, which creates an uneven platform, which means the ball will go at weird angles that you do not anticipate it to go. When you're forming your platform, I emphasize to form it in one motion. One motion means I'm putting everything at once together. This is what a two motion platform looks like. Hands together and then elbows. Three motions. One, two, three. As you know already, volleyball is a very fast paced game. Sometimes the ball is traveling over 50 miles per hour over 20 feet and you don't have time to do this. All you have time for is to put your platform together as quickly as possible. So that's what we call one motion. Once your platform is solid, you want to contact the ball just above where you wear a watch. That's what I call the sweet spot. Anything higher is going to be difficult to control because it's too close to you and your depth perception gets thrown off and anything too low below your wrist it starts to touch the bones of your hands which is hard to control. So the ideal spot is just above where you wear your watch. Now we'll talk about how to pass the ball to the target. Once you're set up with your feet in medium posture and you form your platform together in one motion, you want to shoot your platform at your knees, contact the ball at your waist, and finish at your chest. This passing motion called knee waist sternum will help you move the ball to where you want to go. You could use a little bit of leg and a little bit of waist when you're passing, but in generally most of your power and control should come from your arms. Using too much of your legs to pass will often add too much power to the ball and will also lose control because these are larger muscles. It's a lot easier to use fine motor control with your arms to pass with precision. And you can see this at the highest level of international volleyball where a lot of players are using their arms to pass and not so much their legs. Sometimes they'll use a little bit of leg and hips to get a better position or to be fluid, but most of the control is going to be happening with their arms. This is what it looks like from the profile for the passing motion. Knee, waist, sternum.
Here's a great drill you can do with a friend to help you practice your passing motion and to help you form your platform solidly. One person is going to chest pass it with both hands and point to the waist so the ball goes to the waist. And I'm just going to focus on following through with this motion to pass it back at the target while keeping my lower body as still as possible. I'm practicing just shooting and then passing it back. Yeah, yeah. In general, when you're passing, you want to have as little movement as possible. Some people call it simple, some people call it quiet. If you're passing with very loud or wild movements like this, you're not going to be able to control the ball. Sometimes I think people get carried away with more looking good when they pass versus actually focusing on where to pass. So it's very important to have very simple movements when you're passing. Please try this passing technique and let me know if it improves your volleyball game. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.